Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Kindred Jungle. I know a lot of you have been asking me about it over the time. I do want to start making more Kindred content and hopefully I'm going to enjoy playing Kindred a lot more now. Taking a decent break from playing Kindred, so I'm feeling pretty... Yes, excited to play it. So today what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to go about climbing out of extremely low elo. I hear it all the time. People talk about how they can't climb out of, you know, X rank because of X factor. All of that is noise, guys. The only thing that's going to prevent you from climbing is your individual skill over the long term. And I'm here to show you guys that today. So we'll be climbing out of like bronze or iron MMR here. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can go about basically 1v9 in games. Draven Nautilus lane bot lane. So we do have to be careful of that. Get the ward out quickly. He's not going to flash. Easy. All right. Now I'm looking at this Draven Nautilus lane. They're looking like they're not going to be pushing up too much. So what I'm actually going to do here is mark mid with F3. And I'm going to look for this mid gank. So I'm going to wrap around. Boom. F3 or shift F3 actually to mark the mid. And we're going to look for this kill here. He's going to have to either flash or die. My um, Vega was not super useful there. I'm going to kill him though here in a second. Oh my god, I'm outplayed. Well played. Fuck. These two people are taking TP. Playing a low elo. XD. Ah, <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. That, although, is a mistake, though, guys. You know, should just have checked. Um, and, like, know what some people have, but yeah. I would. I mid doesn't have items either. No. Uh, like I said, guys, we're playing a low elo, right? So there's a lot of crazy shit happening. I shouldn't have died there. I will, though, probably recover this kill here in a second. I'm going to look for, hopefully, the gank here now. All right, it's looking okay so far. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Got the kill, took the buffs out of the lane. My mid is pretty much useless, by the way. Uh, in these two games, I don't think he dealt a single piece of damage to the enemies. Um, but anyway, that's fine. Don't care about that too much. But in this time, Sejuani is probably taking his whole top side. I'm going to quickly pick my top lane to be careful. Mark enemy support, and then I'm going to go straight bot, grab the crab. This game is a bit of a clown fiesta and has not gone how it usually go uh, for me. But that being said, uh, like 100% confident that we win this game. I shouldn't have e-marked this since no one's here to contest and I maybe could have used the E to dive this uh, Nautilus. Let's see what I can potentially do here. Um, but if there's no Nautilus kill, I'm going to instantly take this Gromp off the Sejuani. Now, once I've taken this Gromp, it means the next mark is 100% going to spawn on either a Crab or it's going to spawn on the Raptor Camp, right? So with that knowledge in mind, I know where exactly I want to path in terms of marks. Quickly yoink this. Now by yoinking these two camps, we're basically leaving nothing for Sejuani to come back to when she comes back to this side, unless she wants to invade me, which more than likely Sejuani does not want to invade me. I just should be dead here. Obviously the dodging E would be helpful, but Nah, I'm not too concerned, to be honest. As long as my Vega doesn't get E there and we're able to get the box off and Vega I can press some buttons, it all looks good. I want this guy to push as quickly as possible. We're going to ping that Sejuani's over there. And look, there's the mark, as I said. So, Raptor's mark. Instantly moving into this and taking it. Nice. You can see the Sejuani rotating across. We're just going to continue taking this right in front of him. He's picking up the scraps of the KFC. I'm going to instantly base. And we know Sejuani can only go to these Krogs. Now, what do I want to do? Um, I see that there's probably going to be a fight happening bot, and I can also see they're pushing in the wave. So I'm going to run straight bot here. Let my Malphite continue playing weak side. And in my opinion, we get a double kill. Wow, Sejuani really skipped his camp and came here. I like this. 
I'm really in the right spot then. This is super nice. I have a mark on the north. There's the Draven. I'm gonna start going in the north here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill, unfortunately. She's probably just gonna be able to. Yep. Sad times. Oh. My player has to be a little bit careful there. Alright, Mr. Giovanni is going to be on her blue. I want to watch this if possible. Hmm. Not ideal, not ideal. There's the Surge. Sorry, there's the... Uh... Let's go. Unfortunately, my Vega is nowhere to be seen. Anyway, I'm just going to skip this and run straight top to the mark. Take my mark and then go to my top side camps for gank Yorick and then path back down. Mark the Yorick here. Uh, looks like my top laner is just AFKing, so let's see if he's going to move up or what. Beautiful. There's that. Try and kill this quickly. Alright, where is my next mark going to spawn? It is going to spawn on enemy red buff. Am I going to be able to be there in time? Yes. If I just quickly grab these two camps and run straight to Sedgewani's red, it will be basically perfect timing. I can also mark the Sedge. Or also the... Um, there are two. Could be a decent mark. What timer do we have on that? Alright, it's coming up to 10 seconds. Let's just run straight there. Really wrap. Oh, sorry, Wolves Mark? Beforehand? That feels super unfortunate. I really would have thought that Sejuani would have taken that Wolf Camp by now. Anyway, you can see that he was basically doing it when it happened because it's gone now. So, yeah. Just Sejuani clearing super slow there. Caught me off guard. Anyway, grabbed the red, can instantly reset and start moving towards bot side. And I'm going to chuck the mark on Draven. I see he was going aggressive there when I panned down bot lane. There's the buy. And as you guys can see, we are uh, no longer playing so sloppy. We've kind of adapted or adjusted to what the gameplay is. I was expecting different things. Look, in all honesty, I don't get to play in uh, iron very often. So I was expecting different things originally. Now we've adapted though. And uh, we basically have zero expectations. Okay, sweep here and I'm going to look for a mid gank again. Okay, it's all pretty chill. He's warding the other side. Just chilling here. Boom. No. My mark is probably going to be over there all the way on Krug, sadly. So what I might try and do is look for a bot lane gank. Watching my teammates are getting a little bit horny for the drag, as per usual. Wouldn't be low elo if your teammates weren't trying to grief you with a dragon for no reason. And we're just going to finish this off with the Q auto. See if we got the kill there. I'm not exactly excited about that. Anyway, um, shift F2 mark for the pig. Boom, there's the drag. And I'm going to start running straight towards Herald because I think the pig might be on Herald right now. This is Zerath. Just uh, quickly push this so that my player has a bit of prior. And we're going to ping this Herald. See if we can get here. It has not been taken. What the fuck? He just took this within the last 15 seconds. He is topside. I do not know where the pig actually is. You have to... Uh... Fuck! 
Anyway, I'm gonna get my stack here. That's good. <sighs> Slight misplay. You know what I was about to say, by the way, guys, before I stop talking there is I do need to flash Sejuani ult. I did not expect that that was where Sejuani was going. I thought she'd be hovering in here. So that's where I would be, I guess, if I was like looking for that. Because if I'm Sej in that other bush, I feel like I just die. If I walk into that bush, I mean the other way, I'm just gonna kill the pig, right? Okay. Shift F3, mark on the Zerath, and we're gonna run straight to the Herald and do that Herald in a moment. It's a shame that I didn't uh, get an assist on the Yorix. I would have also got um crack in there. Which would have been a really, really nice, you know, damage increase. The Gromp. I'm gonna drop an E to begin with, because I'll probably be using two E's on this. No wards anywhere. Nice. Start hammering this down. There's the pig coming. Boom. There's the smite. Oh, here's Zarath. Teammate wants to fucking press buttons or what? Ah, sick. I'll just reset here. Alrighty, I'll grab this and a pink ward. And we don't have too long left before plates drop guys, so we're going to be looking for a plate play pretty much ASAP. No more marks are going to be spawning except for dragons, heralds, and barons, so we don't have to worry about that for now. So we're not really thinking about jungle mark tracking. We know Sejuani is probably going to go here to her blue since it's up. I'm going to be looking for the mid gank into Herald Drop here if I can. A ward. Excellent. There we go, guys. Double kill. Sejuani's red is coming up. We can put a mark on. Oh my god, that can't hurt. All right, let's go F1 with the Yorick mark, guys. And keep hammering this down. See the Sejuani over there? She's bot side. I didn't catch if she had her blue yet, but I'm going to presume that she does. And we're just going to go into her topside camps here. Shift F1 for the Yorick mark. There's that. There's the pig. Here's a rip off. There's that. Jump over the wall. Keep pinging that out, and honestly, I think we can just die this guy probably. And yeah, despite that we've died, guys, and made some mistakes, it doesn't actually particularly matter because we're playing well in all these other areas that when we die, we're not able to be punished or snowboard on heavily, right? And that's one of the big things is when you're not playing well and you do die, you're getting punished even harder because you've already been playing inefficiently and it's a compounding effect. Whereas when you're playing well and you die and you're like, you know, super fed, basically smurfing on the game, you're not going to get punished nearly as much. I'm gonna skip my red, don't need the red buff uh, for the slow, so we're just gonna jump over here. This is all potentially water, but you have to keep in mind, guys. I have ult, I'm just gonna look for this bot lane scam, which might be a naught in this bush. There's one. And so let's actually mark the naught and just start uh, ping this guy not to kill. So naught should be marked here. Oh, he's not? Hello? Fuck, why did naught not mark? I shift out five multiple times. So I'm unlocked. The fuck? Oh, well, this guy's dead. Boom. We'll go to the dragon one sec. Just quickly yoink this camp on the way down so that they can't do anything. Shift F2, mark the pig. Crap. 
grab that. Gonna run back here. Sort of pig in action. There's the Nort. They have some ults here. And shilling. Dropping that over there. Beautiful. Hey, okay, gonna start dodging a little bit of this shit. Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. I have cancer. My bad, guys. My bad. Uh, Black Cleaver here because they're pretty fucking tanky. Unbelievable, I died there to that shit, man. So, yes. Anyway, guys, this is probably game in my opinion. We have snowballed this game extremely quickly. <laughs> Three items, 17 minutes, 13 stacks. What more can we really do here? If you guys replicate this in every single one of your games, and this is not perfect gameplay, right? Far from perfect gameplay. But if you guys replicate just half of what we've done here, or a quarter of what we've done here, you are going to climb out of this elo basically instantly, right? You do not need to be 14, four and six, 20, kill participation at you know 15 minutes like we are you can be far weaker and still climb out of this elo and so this goes to show that it's all in your control and in the long run if you are playing well there is not a single thing that will hold you back regardless of the role the rank and probably the champions too in my opinion um at least the champions to some degree all right, next mark is going to be here on the tarot. We're going to want to pick that up instantly. I see this guy getting picked, so I'm just running straight for it. Hopefully, she can kind of part to me. See the pig there? I just want to keep going here. I'm going to click auto. Pig behind me. I'm going to chuck my W towards them here to zone and start dealing damage. Ah. Draven fucking went in. Really surprised I wasn't able to get both. I think actually I might have made a mistake there. Maybe I should have autoed the turret. Not 100% sure there, guys. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. But if that turret was on like less than a thousand health, I think I was probably actually better autoing it. Anyway. Am I going to miss this Herald? I cry if I do. I don't think so. I don't know why it's not marking though. Unfortunately, I didn't get the mark there that I was looking to try and get. I'm going to shift my mark to Draven to maybe refresh the mark on Herald. I don't know why that Herald mark is not there. There it is. Beautiful. I'm running straight to that shit. With haste. Q out of base, guys. Q, 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 Q. Need my... Got to start it. Yeah, my boy, my boy. Q, W, Q again. Q here one more time. Beautiful. I don't even care about picking it up. Let's care about getting my mark at this point, guys. My opinion, this game is completely over. I'm gonna go to Sejuani's right here, though. Now, we picked up the uh, QSS because Sejuani R and also Zerath E, kind of annoying. Maybe even Nautilus Root, too, potentially. Fuck yeah, this fight looks good. We have R, too. He really didn't die off that? All right, beautiful. Should we have an end here, guys? Would have been ideal if we could have kept our um, ulti a little bit longer, but Zareth is pretty interested in winning. Seems, oh, am I dead here? No, yes. Oh my god, I fucking hate this game. We can just end, guys. We can just end. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, we just go Baron here. Baron and end. I don't know why the enemies have an FFD, though. 
none of this stuff matters it's just time right i would like to have ended purely based on time but uh we win this game regardless there is no possible way that i can lose this game my whole team could go afk right now and i would win this game in my opinion so i would just adapt right to like the the situation at hand i would just have to make sure i save my flash and my ulti and look for a numbers advantage fight well not a numbers advantage fight but one where it's not just completely 5v1 teammates are doing that don't really know why they should win it though i would like to just go do baron and end but maybe in all honesty they just end without it who knows i'll quickly kill this guy so that no one comes back for him All right, that's that. I really feel like we need to do Baron because Zareth can clear the waves. We solo it, that's the question. We have to be pretty close to soloing it, I think. We are very close to soloing this. I kind of thought that uh, that guy was going to deal more damage anyway. It is what it is. Let us try and go mid and end. Stop split pushing, bro. What can end this game? Uh, controlling your noobs. Again, all these things don't matter. It's just time, right? Like, going top is not, like, necessarily such a huge issue. We can still end through top. It's just, like, we can end through mid faster. And I want to end as quickly as possible here he obviously i don't know what he wants to do oh oh by the way you guys getting this bug happening it's like randomly he freeze oh wait it's not a bug from dc from the internet no what i'm not dc from the internet the legends is broken this time 6 30 AM? Why would it just be randomly broken? Just reconnect. This is why ending super fast is important, guys, because, uh, my. Well, he might just decide to fucking stop working for some reason. Alright, well, we're back. What the fuck was that? Don't know. Who cares though? See my teammates to walk with me and we can end this shit down a mid. Stop. Um end this shitty game. Let's go. We're escaping low elo, guys. There's no way this game should be going to fucking 25 minutes, etc. Let us go. GG. We'll play this shit with haste. Here we go, guys. There you go. See? Just need this guy to come with me. It's a penta angle. But there's no penta available. It's the orcs over there, so who cares? GG. Well played, guys. If you guys like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you guys want to see the higher ELO content for this series, that will be coming in the coming days. I also stream at twitch.tv slash coachmaga and on this channel. On those streams, you can actually catch me playing in much higher elo. Normally, I'm playing Masters Plus unless I'm playing on a Smurf account for some reason, which will normally be in the title. Anyway, guys, till next time. Oh, actually, I'll show you guys the uh, the runes quick. I've been showing you guys the runes. As I said before, it's like Bronze MMR. I think it's actually truly Bronze MMR. I haven't checked, but it feels like it. If not, it's low, and that's all that matters. This is the runes we took. I think they work quite well here. This is the build we went. Other things you could have opted into this build is like Wit's End, but I think that the QSS was more than enough magic resist for what we needed. My last item with that um, Vamp Scepter was going to be Bloodthirster, right? So you guys can kind of see what I was doing there with the full build. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Until next time, guys, take care. Good luck on the Rift. Peace out. Don't want to take any more of your time.